Hey Levy Wanders, Lady Etheria, we got another question about conveyor belts, the bane of our existence trick. This and fishtails, right? So um, I wanted to address some of the challenges that we run into with conveyor belts. So I'm gonna go through the whole trick so people who don't know it watching this can see it too. But uh, I put a cozy on the end of my wand so you guys could see the top. It is making it out of balance, so you know. But uh, we'll do the best we can. I wanna make sure you can see the top on film. A big thing I will note about conveyor belts that does confuse people and makes it harder to learn them is there is only two full rotations of the levy wand in this trick. Any additional rotations of the wand during this trick will speed it up and make it harder to complete, especially on that second hand, which is where we usually see the challenges is when we're trying to get through that second half. So just to break this down for you guys, it would go normal perch. Like I said, that top is too heavy, so it's not wanting to stay, uh, stay upright. Normal perch on the non-string hand is usually how I'll teach it. Pull forward right here, wrap your string up once, right? So that it's short enough that when you're on your finishing side, it will actually land in a perch clean. So then we're gonna dip our hand, wand slides to the center of our wrist, keep that string taut still. This is where we're adding the second hand and doing that wrist wrap. Here's where people tend to get lost. This part of the trick should be floating on my hand, not at my elbow yet. And we're taking the bottom of the wand and literally moving that towards our face. It's almost kind of scary. That means you're doing it right. And creating on this side, another triangle, right? So my elbow and the wand makes a triangle. I use that term a lot. And then from here, we're just pushing up to open into that perch. All right, I'm gonna show you that guys in the best real time I can with this crazy cozy on the end, right? So down one turn of the wand when we get to the center. On the hand, back to that triangle again, and then open up, second turn. So each elbow or arm, if you will, gets one turn of the actual um, levy wand, right? It's doing one full rotation. So one more time. Okay, stay, silly thing. One, two. Whew, so much harder with that cozy on, okay? So pace, places we get stuck, right? It's usually right here. Some of those things that will help is one, making sure that when you get into your wrist wrap, your string is as short as you need to sit in a clean perch on your string hand. Imperative! If my string is fully extended out, full length, when I go and complete this trick, it's going to be too long for it to sit into a perch. So what I'm doing at the beginning of this trick when I'm sitting on my off string perch is wrapping my string up one time because I know that's how much I need and then keeping the string taut through the rest of that trick. Here's where it gets weird because the string's all floppy. Both the string and my hand are together. This is truly the balance part of this. And then I'm setting the top of that wand or the bottom of the wand on my shoulder so that when I pop open, we're back in that trick. Uh, I encourage you guys to look at contact staff videos for this move. You don't need a string to drill this trick. And in fact, I encourage you to wrap your entire string up and practice the conveyor belt without your string. It will be so much cleaner once you add it back in. Um, we are learning on expert mode. Our wands are really short. Doing this on a contact staff is so much easier because it's already slower. So give yourself some time. So to drill this without your string, we'll do it like we would for a contact staff. So we're gonna put that arm out like we would for our perched, but instead of it starting perched here, we're gonna swing that to give it the momentum underneath. I am holding just underneath the center of the wand for this, and we're going to put it out whoo, just like we would for your normal conveyor belt. Of course, it goes a little faster, but I don't have a string to slow it down. So it goes here, right? Down, triangle, wrist wrap, Triangle, open, and you'll catch with your opposite hand to drill this. My string keeps unwrapping. A couple more times, so under, one rotation, two rotations. Big thing for second half of this trick where you guys might struggle, make sure your elbow is really flat and high. You want to have this shoulder height. Give it a spot to sit. If your elbow is dipped down after your wrist wrap, which is what I see a lot of times where people struggle, you will have a situation where sometimes you're gonna get an extra beat right here, right? And that's where people tend to struggle because there'll be an extra spin or half a spin that happens here and then they'll kind of get it and be like, oh, close. 
but a lot of times the bottom of the wand shows up at uh, the end of this perch too if people are having an extra spin on the elbow that's not necessary. You can add it later. Flare is fantastic. But when learning this trick, I highly encourage you to make sure you only have two full rotations of your wand and there's not a beat happening on that elbow for your second half of the trick. So let's take this silly cozy off so you guys can actually see this in real time. Ooh, sooty now. I'm gonna do my best, you know, again, there is a light on top of here, so you might be able to see this and I have a, not a light on the bottom, but if you can't, again, my apologies, did my best with lighting here for now. So perch here, one rotation, two rotations, open. Uh, I have a hard time stopping it because I rarely stop this now. Because of course this trick can continuously go into halo rolls, conveyor belts and not stop. Anyway, I'm Lady Etheria. I really hope that helps, guys. Please feel free to ping me anytime. I'm always happy to help run through tricks and break them down. Really love it. Hopefully see you next Thursday at the Levy Wand Flow Jam. Talk to you soon. Bye.